good people. So today we are going to rewire some gotcha plugs. So I've been aiming to do this video since back in May actually, but time just haven't, hasn't allowed it. Now this time of year is a great time to get your fishing gear in order because spring is just around the corner. Now I'm going to show you my collection of gotcha plugs from over the past couple of years. It's been a long time since I rewired it. So, so this is kind of my collection of gotcha plugs and if you fish salt water yours probably looks the same way. Gotcha plugs catch a lot of fish. And I have fished just about every pier in the state of North Carolina and into South Carolina. So this is primarily what you want to fish with. <clears throat> this one here. But because these gold hooks rust in that salt water, you wind up with something that looks like this. So today I'm going to show you how to cut this wire off and rewire these gotcha plugs so that you have new hooks in it and it looks like this. So hey, let's get started. So first off, you're going to need you're going to need to purchase you some hooks, some treble hooks. So I have these gold ones here. This is a number four. This was a number six. The number six goes on the front of the gotcha. The number four goes on the back of the gotcha. So you can use gold, you can use chrome, or you can use red. Either one will work. Preferably, if you're fishing for Spanish mackerel, you want to use the gold ones. I think the gold hooks going through the water looks like glass minnows, and that's what the Spanish mackerel key in on. I've used silver ones uh, before, and I've used red ones. I've caught Spanish on both, but it seems like they key in on that gold color more so. So our primary purpose to this afternoon, we're going to use the gold. We'll use this one as an example. This is the ones we'll change out. So, first off, you'll need a few tools. You'll need some sort, something to cut a wire with. I like this square nose, and I'll show you why in just a little while. You'll need a pair of vice grips, regular pliers, and this is a 10 penny finish nail, and I cut the head off of it, and that's going to help you tie the eye and some sort of wire cutters. So you'll see in the video, uh, I'll list each thing that you'll be able to see. So you're gonna need some kind of wire. This is a number 10, that's a number 10, 131 pound test wire. This wire you can purchase uh, and it's usually made for tying rigs. Now I like the number 10 wire. I've used smaller and I've used larger wire and it seems like if you use a larger wire than this when you're wrapping the when you're tying the hooks it'll it has a tendency to break if you wind it once or twice too many times. It'll break off so I like the number 10 wire. You can use stainless. Some of these newer gotcha plugs have stainless but that's not necessarily. If you're changing these hooks out each year uh, just this brown wire is fairly cheap. Uh, this roll was $2.99. Of course, you can see the package. I've had that for probably 10 years. So, let's get started. So first off, you want to remove these hooks. That is easily done with a pair of clippers. And these wire clippers are fairly old. And these pliers, you're going to need them to remove that hook. There's a the front hook. Here is the back hook. And you'll notice that is tied from the factory right there. See how tight and round that is? That was probably used with a machine. We don't need a machine to do that. Here's what's left. We will take our pliers and we will pop that right out. So that is what it looks like at the top. And that has one, two, three, four, about four and a half twist. And we'll try to match that four and a half or five twist. So this is what you wind up with. Now, we're not painting these this afternoon, but 
If you want to, you can take some 120 grit or 150 grit sandpaper, sand this nice and smooth, get off all this rust color right here. You can sand that nice and smooth, hang it up, tape the head, use some white spray paint or whatever color you want and spray this back nice and white. And I have done that quite often, especially if you get one uh, here is one that the fish have eat up. See all the scars on this one? This one's caught a lot of fish, especially bluefish. They're going to eat it up. So <clears throat> we want to start with about 12 inches of wire. Cut your wire off. Here's my wire. We're going to take the number four hook going to insert. I'm going to try to do this close so you can see it. I'm going to insert it with about three inches of wire hanging out. I'm going to bend that over just like that. See that there? Now I am going to mash that kind of close. I'm going to hold it right here with these pliers. And that is going to hold it while I take this tag in and I'm going to push it down at a 90. See that's at a 90 and then I'm going to wrap it. You can wrap it about four times. That's not, that's not going anywhere. So now we got to remove this tag in and I'll just use these side cutters. Hey, what let me use these. I like these uh these snips because all right, so finally I got it off with these. This is not very sharp. So you have a little bit of a tag in, and you don't have to worry about that. So we'll bend that back down. There's a lot that's gonna be in the gotcha plug's body. So what you'll end up with is that right there. So that's the start. Take your gotcha plug body. Now, as a note, you've got to get this wire into that hole under that belly right there. So a lot of times what I'll do is I will just bend the tip just slightly and insert it into the end and it's going to come through right there just like that and insert this wire. Now I'm going to leave it hanging out a little bit. I want this rear hook to be a little loose. Now see how this wire has a natural curve this way? Well I don't want to go back through this hole that way. So I want to rotate this hook till I get the natural curve because that wire has been rolled. I want that natural curve to be that way. I hope that makes sense. Now here's your number six hook. So, you notice that this hook has two hooks on one side, one on the other, right? I want these two hooks to lay under the belly. Now, this is very important. If you get this turned around this way, that hook is hitting that belly. Every time you cast it, it's going to hang your line. It's going to flip and hang your line. So, you want that single hook to the outside, and you want to just slide it right over top of the, right over top of the wire. And see how pretty that lays right up under that gotcha plug? Just like that. Now, I'm going to hold this in my hand without getting stuck. I'm going to take this tag in and I'm going right through this hole. I'll tell you what, I always clip this little L off the end. See the little L? You don't need that anymore. Just clip the end of it off. Boom, right there. Now, I'm going to carry that wire right through that hole, through the top. Oh, now you said, oh, I see now. So your wires are going to poke out the rear in here. So we need to get that, we need to pull that up nice and snug. Right here on the bottom, this is still loose like this. Now, take that wire, we're going to go right back through the same hole we come from. Right back down through the body of the gotcha plug. And this is where I finish nail. Now you can use anything you want to but the finish nail. 
That's about the right diameter for the eye anyway. I'm going to insert this right along just like the body sits. Just like this. Now, sometimes it is... Okay, so I got that clamp with the body. I'm going to take one of my pair of pliers. I think I'll use this one. And I want to pull holding that bottom wire right there. I want to pull that wire down snug against that nail. Just like that. Now I can use these. I want to hold. When I twist this, I want to hold both of these wires. That's very important. This is the key to getting it to run nice and even back and forth is to get this tie right here. This is the most important tie to get it to run true. Now I have an old set of vice grips, so I'm going to clamp off. I've already set this pretty tight. So that's going to hold both of those wires. So I'm going one, two, three. Now, I want to set that eye. Hope you can see that. That eye needs to be true with the body of the gotcha plug so it darts back and forth. Now, if it's off a little bit, you can turn it like this and you can also tune it. Now, if it's off a little bit, when you're on the pier, hey, bonus right here. When you're on the pier and the gotcha plug is only running in one direction, a lot of times you can take this eye here and you can bend it over to tune it to where it pulls straight or you can take them and twist this back hook, twist that wire up and make it a little tighter. So anyway, that's just a little bonus. Anyway, boom. There you go. So here's your tag in. We need to cut this off right here. And maybe these snips will cut this off. It didn't want to work too good last time. Now, boom. You want to cut that out. Now you're going to have this hanging out a little bit. And if you don't like it, you can take a pair of pliers and just bend it up a little bit. Sometimes it'll it'll prick your finger. Doesn't really matter. Now, you notice how once I cut that tag in off, that eye turned a little bit. So, and that's not going to run right. That's going to run to one side. So, I'm going to give that plug, I'm going to turn it just a little bit more. I'm going to turn it back to get it where it's running fairly true. So, See how that fits nice, snug right up under the belly? It looks like I pricked my finger. So anyway, hey, boom, there you go. That's how you rewire a gotcha plug. Now don't be discouraged. The first few that I ever did, I messed up, but hey, there's the beauty of it. You mess up, hey, snip the wire, pull the hook out, and start over again. You're gonna probably have to do this three or four times to get efficient at it. But boom, there you go, that's ready, that's ready to go to the pier catch a Spanish mackerel. Another thing, hey bonus are here again. As a rule of thumb, if you are fishing on a pier from the surf or wherever and you're using one of these gotcha plugs like this, boom, you want to use a 30 pound mono liter, mono or uh, fluorocarbon, it doesn't matter. And this is gonna catch you more fish. Now, a lot of people, they pay $4.50 for this. They don't want to lose it, so they put a wire leader on it. You'll catch bluefish like that, but Spanish mackerel do not like that big leader, so you need to use some mono leader. So I'm gonna show you a quick way. When you're out on the pier, this needs to be tied in a loop. It needs to have a loop so it can dance. And this means the difference in Catching bluefish and catching Spanish. Spanish mackerel like the lure sweeping, sweeping and dropping, sweeping and dropping. That's what they key in on. This lure sweeping, dropping. That quick wobble back and forth, bluefish like that. It looks more like an injured bait fish. But if you want to catch more Spanish mackerel, then you need to tie this with a loop. I'm going to show you a really easy loop to do. Now I want you to practice this a few times. Quickly, here we go. 
hope you can see this. So we want to take that and loop it just like this with the tag in. See that? See how I did that? One more time. So I'm going to basically just take it, loop it, see how it loops, bring that tag in right through this. Don't know what this loop is called, but it's probably got a name. So this tag in goes through the eye of you got your plug, just like that. So you pull that loop down close, so you got that. This tag in now goes back through this loop you just made. This is really simple. Back through that loop, can you see that? Through the loop that way, back over the ring, and back through the loop. So you'll have the tag in here. Now, it's doubled here. Now, it's kind of awkward for me to do this because I'm trying to show you. Normally, I've got it right down real close and I can flip the plug back around, but I'm trying to do this so the camera can pick it up. Now, I'm going to pull both ends. Now, I can make this loop as big as I want to or small. I don't want it that big, so I'm pulling that loop down. And when I get it to where I want it, I'm going to pull up on both ends and cinch that knot down. And that's what I end up with. Now, you may have another knot you want to tie, but you need that loop and that lure just like that right there. And that little bit of a loop allows this bait to bounce back and forth. Don't put no swivel on it. Don't put a wire leader on it. You can, but if you want to catch more fat Spanish mackerel, boom, there it is. So, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, comment in the bottom, in the box. Hit that like button. And uh, please subscribe to the channel if you like this. If you want to see me uh, do some more modifications on these gotcha plugs, maybe paint some of them up or maybe add the hair to the end of them, uh, hey, just let me know in the comment section and I'll be working on making those videos. Hey guys, you remember, it's a wild life and I'll see you on the water.